Greetings and welcome to another edition of Caring About Seniors. I am your host, Adrienne Houghton. Now, each week I sit down with Oasis Senior Advisors Jacksonville and we discuss all aspects of senior living. Today I am joined by David Stieglitz from Oasis and our guest is the world-renowned ophthalmologist, Dr. Aaron Galani. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you for having us. Yeah, absolute pleasure. Now, we're going to talk about the common ailments that you see in seniors, and probably one of the most common that everyone knows about are cataracts. Absolutely. So uh, seniors have the privilege that they are seniors, and the beauty with that is uh, some age-related things that happen. Of course, glaucoma and retina issues like macular degeneration are also quite prevalent. But as you rightly said, cataract is the most reversible blindness in the world. And it happens to everybody who lives long enough. And it's very important to quell some myths about this condition and make sure every senior has the right to see the best they can and really enjoy their life that they've lived up to and cared for so many people until they got to this age, right? Yes. Now, you, you actually have the, the first ever cataract spa. Tell me about that. How, how did that come about? As you know me, I'm, I'm never satisfied with the status quo. So I've always liked to innovate and make things better for patients. So in a world where patients are being hurtled around like numbers in, you know, in a mill, if you may, I wanted to make it the other way around with my passion. So I made it slow and built the world's uh, only cataract surgery spa where you don't take drugs and there's no injections, no pain, no needles, no stitches, and you don't come in on a stretcher. You actually walk out <laughs> surgeries within minutes using the most advanced technologies in the world. And I want every patient to enjoy that personalized care and experience, not just surgery, an experience that they've been waiting for. So that's what resulted in my creating this spa uh, in our institute. I mean, it's not often, Dave, is it, that we, we hear about a situation where it's medically related and you feel as though you're going into a, a sort of luxurious hotel as opposed to something yeah. dire. Spa and surgery are just not words that are generally in the same sense. And very important, it's not even about luxury. Yes, there is so much luxury in what, what I love to do, but it's about personalized care that is missing in medicine. Mm. Patients have to understand that getting run around as 20 people heading into cataract surgery in a mill where doctors are rushing in and out is not sure. the experience that they live for. No. Caring by the surgeon throughout your life before, during, after surgery in a beautiful ambience with all the high regulations and safety and the most advanced technology, that's what you deserve. That's awesome. Well, that's, awesome. What, you, that's what you want, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, it, now I just sort of want to go in and have surgery. I mean, because that yeah, it makes yeah, it, you make yeah. it sound so good. But is it, is it true that you have to wait until the cataract is ripe? No, that's a complete myth. And here is this topic of wait till the cataract's ripe or big enough and you're blind enough is actually an insurance related criteria that you have to be blind to a certain level, impact your life to a certain level for the insurance to help you. Oh. It is not a medical criteria. Think about it. Your hip is hurting and someone says, you know what, it's okay. Just let us know when it breaks. Till then, just use a different crutch and adjust your life accordingly. That's what every senior has been doing. They're falling off their own houses, homes, right? They have fractures, etc., because of poor vision, stigmatisms, and extent uh, associated vision issues. So no, you don't have to wait. According to me, I've been teaching all over the world, 58 is and above is the age for cataract surgery. As we live long enough, our natural lens, which is crystal clear, mm -hmm. becomes cloudy, like the graying of our hair. Now you can't read, you need more light for things. That itself is an indication your lens is cloudy. It doesn't have to be blind enough. And then you can see perfect and enjoy the rest of your life. Be free. Yes. So That's is that the, the first sign that you're developing cataracts? Is that Night vision is usually first. You're a little okay. less confident at night driving. You can't see things in a restaurant. You need more light going in. Your reading is affected. And then overall, also many cataract patients are nearsighted or farsighted, right? Mm -hmm. Or they have astigmatism and reading vision, of course, after 45. So all of these factors can be corrected. Why wait? All of them can be corrected. All of them. I mean, again, it's medicine. What yes. you say is, yes, the attempt should be to fix everything and make it perfect. Cataract surgery, I'd say, should be an, a, a direction for a surgeon to give patients the best vision they can for the rest of their life, best and rest. So what are the most recent advances in cataract surgery? Tremendous leaps in uh, cataract surgery. First of all, diagnostics. Like we brought into the country some very advanced diagnostics. You can now see the eye in 3D. 
you can use artificial intelligence and I can see not only the cataract but the type of cataract that decides the technique. Then you decide do you, do you have associated refractive errors meaning glasses, nearsighted, farsighted astigmatism, reading vision affected, night vision affected. Then also if you had previous LASIK or RK radial keratotomy surgery, all of those now can be diagnosed into a pattern for a custom surgery. Then during surgery there are such technologies and lens implants that can help you see at most insistent without glasses forever. Following that is another advance that we've been bringing to the world is patients who've had cataract surgery and had a bad outcome or side effects uh, can be corrected. And you can correct it. Absolutely. So they're not stuck with that bad choice they made. It can be fixed. So, so this is a 60, 60 something year old uh, man comes into your uh, surgery and he has glasses, he's having trouble seeing, there's all these things. Can he walk out of there? without having to wear a pair of glasses again? Yes, and that's the aim. Again, it's medicine. Yes, you try 100% of the time and you can have a severe success record like we do. But my point is, that's the whole point about what I love, right? Custom designing, whether it's yes. my fashion. Or, you cannot just wear a suit based on your height and waist because that's what society has conducted throughout these centuries. Walk into a store, 34 regular, pick up the suit, you look great. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Have someone measure you down to the ankle, make sure it's properly accessorized, maximize your vision. It's the biggest sense you have, the most precious sense we have. So is, is surgery age limited? No. 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 I've done 100 year old. I've done even beyond that. My point being, as long as somebody has mental capacity, vision is a brain thing, right? And has life in front of them. Why not fight for every drop they have? You've used the word forever a couple of times. Yes. Is, is cataract surgery a one-time thing or it can is. they redevelop? It is. Now, there is a bag we talk about, but cataract basically is a lens that went cloudy. Okay. Hence, you remove that and put an artificial lens in. Okay. The advances are that artificial lens can also have prescriptions in it that can fix your vision. Okay. So, yes, so it's forever. different than LASIK. Oh, absolutely. LASIK is on the front of the eye, on the yeah. cornea, right? This is on the lens. So think about it. If someone's having LASIK but they're over 55, 60, 56 years of age and the lens is cloudy, you're doing a disservice by doing the only surgery you know. Yes. You need to then go to the lens. So you should be a fool that we'll come to. I like a surgeon to be a master chef. <laughs> you can't just give people options of burger, hot dog, or taco. What would you like today? Wrong. Doctor, can you please design the best surgery for me? I want freedom. So you want a burger, taco, hat, hot dog? No, you want to build a recipe for that patient. Let's talk in a cooking concept if you may. Okay. If someone's a diabetic, you don't give them a sugar cake or that's all you know. Mm -hmm. You modify the recipe and yet make it amazing. That's also important. Can't give them garbage. Make it amazing, but custom tailor it to that patient. So don't fall for menu cards of platinum, gold and garbage package. Hey doc. Sure. I want something that's designed for me. Can you please sit down? Yeah. Yeah. Explain in English to me. Yeah. What am I having? Right, right. You also mentioned that insurance wants you to wait until that cataract has you to a certain degree of Correct. blindness. So uh -huh. is Medicare covering this at the early stages or is it not? No, again, the criteria has to be matched, right? But right. that's an insurance question. Right. This is a very important topic, maybe for some other time, a longer topic. Insurance doesn't decide your lifestyle. Right. You have decided to follow it. So though insurance is important, money is important, yeah, absolutely. And seniors, of course, may have a difficult because of lack of income ongoing. But the mindset has to be, this is my vision. You know, you're going for dental implants paying thousands of dollars. No insurance covers that. Mm -hmm. here's, the, here's the secret no one knows. You can live without all teeth. You cannot live without vision. It's depression and death as fast as that. So this concept is missing in the, in the world. Patients are waiting till they're blind enough, falling off their own stairs, Correct. Now you, you, you've, you've mentioned that a couple of times. You, you've said that sometimes the falls that seniors have aren't due to the fact that they don't know their own house, because obviously they do. Yes. It's actually down to their vision Absolutely. that hasn't, hasn't been addressed. And deteriorating ongoing. Yes. So that even though they knew there's a step, they now miscalculated it. So many a times it is vision, and I know that. Even people who've had cataract, and they may be left with astigmatism or not fully corrected. That's even more dangerous because they think they're done, mm -hmm. but they have a visual deficit. That's why I keep talking about this. The five things I want every seniors to remember, okay. just five. Surgeon, 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 surgeon. <laughs> Everything else is hype. A bad cook, no matter how good the cooking range, will still cook a bad meal. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> that's, that's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. You need to pick the master chef. After that, you relax. You can't do much after that. Mm -hmm. So your trust and impact has to be the first shot. Take your children with you if you have difficulty. Take your grandkids. They're very savvy. They can go online for you. Who is this doctor? Is this hype? Doctors calling themselves first in the city. That means nothing. Are you first in the world, first in the country? Below that, not important. You know, it's like getting to Publix to buy the first carton of milk. You didn't invent the milk. <laughs> so these are things I want to break the myth. I'm the biggest, I see, right, over 80% of my practice is fixing complications, second opinion. Patients from all walks of life come from all over the country. The most common laments they have are the same. It's very surprising, but the same. They did not open their eyes before surgery. They fell for advertising, they fell for some discount deal, they fell for some gimmick. They saw that there were 30 other patients having cataracts that day, but they felt, no, I'm fine. That's not fine. You are now a number. You cannot expect customized care. Where is your surgeon, by the way? Didn't see him until surgery. What is going to happen after surgery? What technology was chosen for me? So patients need to be a little more savvy, and they just have to research up to the first part. Once you select your surgeon and you've done your investigation, sit back. He's human, but he'll fight for you. So, I mean, I can't, I can't believe that the time's gone so quickly, but we have got a lot of information in there. Is there anything else that you'd like the audience to know that you think we haven't covered? I mean, I Lots on this so topic, because I feel for yeah. seniors, because like I said, they've done so much for the world and now it's their time. I just want them to be empowered. Sit down with the surgeon, no one else. Sit down, ask questions, make sure what they're suggesting is right for you investigate, have your children, grandchildren also follow through, show up, feel the trust, look for track record, look for commitment, look for reputation, look past advertising nonsense and reviews, look at reality, and then shake hands and go, Doc, I trust you, mm -hmm. do your best. Dr. Galani, it's always a pleasure to have you here, it really is, and thank you for doing everything that you do for, for our seniors. Great seeing you again, as always. And don't forget, if there's any more information that you'd like to know about Dr. Gulani, you can find it at www.gulanivision.com or iwannabuzz.com. <laughs>